welcome back i just finished a pilates class i am drinking green juice and by pilates class i mean i do the legree method which is a method of pilates i've talked about it before but i've been trying to go six days a week because my biggest goal is to hit 100 classes by the end of the year that is like one of my goals since i started and i was adding them up and based on when i sprained my ankle which i wasn't vlogging at that time but i did sprain my ankle hiking in Vail, and so i couldn't do pilates and i went back probably sooner than i should have so i have that and then i have anytime i've ever gotten sick anytime i've traveled which we traveled a lot this summer so that definitely helps you know take away opportunity which is fine but now that we both have family that lives out of state like no one none of our family lives here we definitely have to travel more which i'm not opposed to i kind of would rather travel home than like live home still if that makes sense anyway i'm drinking my green juice right now i made this yesterday it has cucumber if you guys want to know the exact like measurements i can leave them down below anyway i put cucumber celery ginger uh, green apple there's one more i feel like there has to be one more. but i added a lot of ginger so it's very gingery but i can leave the exact measurements down below it only stays good for like three to four days i feel like so i leave it in this jar which it was like to here before i made my glass so there's about four glasses in here which is perfect because jeff will drink it too and i always find that it has the best benefits if i drink it first thing in the morning on a pretty empty stomach i ate a lara bar before my class because i didn't want to throw up i eat these bars i eat these every morning before pilates and i feel like they're the perfect bar for a workout class because i've tried a lot i have tried a lot um it's the lara bar just four ingredients plant-based gluten-free dairy-free and the ingredients are literally dates peanuts semi-sweet chocolate chips vanilla extract and sea salt I think that's more than four ingredients but i'm a fan anyway i'm gonna drink this i'm gonna read some of my book and have myself a morning jeff is currently running because he likes to run and i need to get back into running to be honest but it's 23 degrees out today, so today will not be the day that I get back into running. happy right now i don't want to say what it is which is so annoying but it's just like too soon to talk about it but something really exciting is coming in the new year it's one of my resolutions and i just got confirmation that it is happening so stay tuned in the new year if you want to see what's going on i feel like some of you might be shocked some of you may not be shocked but i'm so excited i literally am so happy right now like i am so happy anyway i just made a coffee it is 8 20 right now i'm gonna shower and then i have to work at nine so yeah i just had to pick up the camera and share my excitement 
I was reading in my book the other day about like fear and like what holds us back from things and I feel like it really gave me like the courage to make a jump because you know the book basically like outlined you know fear and why we're fearful of things and what makes us like have a resistance towards change or new opportunities or opportunities to grow and it's like I really like nailed down like why I was so fearful to like make said jump and it really like gave me the courage to just make the jump because when it all comes down to the fact that I for my personal experience the reason why I don't usually make the jump or do things that scare me I mean I do kind of do things that scare me but in the beginning of like when I'm start first start thinking about like doing something I am very fearful and I feel resistance and it's usually because I personally feel like I'm not going to be good enough or I'm not going to like make myself like proud or I'm gonna fail or it really comes down to like my own personal desire to succeed and that really helped me because once I understand like where the resistance is coming from it's so much easier to just like make the jump and prove myself wrong so here's a reminder if you're scared of doing something but it also like lights a fire within you, then you should do it. Because the more I do things that scare me, the more I feel like I'm truly becoming like who I'm supposed to be. So just do something you're scared of, obviously something that's safe, something that might challenge you, but rewarding in the end. So yeah, that's my tidbit. Hello, I'm just checking back in with the vlog. It is, 2.35 right now. I just ate a little bit of lunch. It's one of those days where work is just Mondays are the day that I have the most work and most like time sensitive things to do I would say. So that's just what I've been doing today so far. Um, What else was I gonna say? My camera is like broken like the flip up i have the g7x you know the og vlog camera and the part that flips up like the screw came out so it like flips back and forth and it makes me like upside down so i can never really see like what's in the viewfinder so that's a fun little tidbit anyway i'm working on reorders right now i don't really talk a lot about my job but I have gotten quite a few questions. So the beginning of the week, I usually do reorders for my accounts. I have six accounts and I go through the assortment plans and order based on data from six weeks and year to date. And I look at it that way and see what the locations need more of. So that's what I usually do on Mondays. I like pull all my sales reports, look at all the data from the past week, see what's accumulated and go from there. So Mondays are kind of jam packed because I'm trying to get reorders in for the accounts before the end of the week so that, you know, if you get it in early, you get it quicker typically. So anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. There's a motorcycle. By. and we leave for Michigan tomorrow which is crazy so I still need to pack I'm working a half day tomorrow so I'll work in the morning and then go to the airport so that is also adding more stress on my plate because I just like want to get this done but I can only go so fast which it is what it is. I'm I've been very productive today. I've checked off half of my to-do list So That's good. I'm just hard on myself. I don't like having like outstanding things to do for the following day But my to-do list is for this week. So I shouldn't feel like I have to get it all done today 
but I still do because that's just my personality, honestly. Anyway, I'll put you guys back up here. Um, I still have not showered. I know it's gross. I I don't want to talk about it. Okay. I worked out this morning and I made a coffee, drank my green juice like I showed you guys and that was really just all I could do today until work. And some days are just like that. So I'm not gonna feel hard on myself. Also, I should show this over on Instagram, but I got a wireless keyboard and it's like pretty quiet so you can't even tell like hardly hear the sound when you're typing, which I love because my 1990s keyboard that I had before was like very clickety clackety. And then I also, it came with a wireless mouse, which I love. So super exciting stuff over here. I had to make it like cute because if I'm gonna spend eight hours a day at a desk, like I need something that is pleasant to look at and isn't black. So anyway. I'm working right now, and that's the update. Good morning, guys. I'm currently going to open this box. I got shoe organizers for my closet because I've purchased so many shoes in the last couple months. So I ran out of cubes for all of them in my closet. So I'm gonna build these. It's currently 7.30 in the morning. I just got back from a Pilates class. I'm like this, and I just have to build them. on my Poshmark selling grind and I made some sales so I need to get them I always leave all my Poshmark listings in a big bin so I can keep track I also have stuff I need to list today but that's just a whole nother thing um where is that which is not what I wanted to do I need to list some stuff but I have not gotten to it I just kind of leave this bin in my closet and as I'm like going through things and I'll like look at something and I'll try it on or whatever and like want to wear it that day and I'll be like I just don't like like the way this looks on me or like the color or the fit or it's too big it's too small so I just keep this bin in here and I throw stuff in it as that occurs so that I can keep track and I don't like continue to leave stuff in my closet that I don't wear. 
Um, I sold this set. It's a Amazon set, but they also had it on Pepper Mayo, which is interesting because I got it from Amazon. But it was too short on me. I'm like 5'8 without shoes on. I don't know if you guys know that, but it was too short on me and I got it from Amazon and missed the deadline. So it's like brand new. And then I also sold this like bodycon dress with the tags on it. It was given to me as a gift and I'm just not like a form fitting kind of girl like sometimes, but like not like a dress. I just don't know. Anyway, and then I'm also selling this dress, which I got from Threads when I worked there. And it's kind of like scandalous, but I wore it um, whenever I went like out after my graduation, which I never go out. Like I am not a going out person. It was just a special occasion. So I sold that as well. I wore it literally once. And those are all my sales currently. I'm gonna pack these up. Okay. I have these like cute pink bags from when I had my online like thrift shop. If y'all remember, if you've been here that long, I used to like resell like vintage and thrifted items. And I got these cute pink bags. And I still have so many left over because I ordered like hundreds of them. So I use them for my Poshmark because I think it's kind of cute. So I'm going to bag all of these and then I also need to print labels, which we have a printer in our apartment complex thing. I also have a printer here, but I need to get a printer cartridge. I just don't have that for, for that, and the printer in our lobby is free, so I usually just use that, because why not? Um, but I just save them to my phone, and I need to email them to the printer in the office and go get those, and then I can drop them off later after work. I'm on my lunch break right now. Very exciting stuff. Christmas tree is up. I have laundry on the couch that I need to put that I need to fold. I got off a call a little bit ago. What else? Guys, I made the best banana bread ever last night. Like my best banana bread to date. I found this recipe on Pinterest and I forgot to save it. So if I can, if I can find it, I'll leave it down below. It's like the most moist banana bread ever. It, it's so good. Anyway, that's the current situation <laughs> also i'm in the guest bathroom because i wanted to show you guys my camera like the screen is just like a hanging like this part usually flips up and it's like completely coming off so that's fun i'm gonna have to tape it for now until i can get a new camera but these cameras are not cheap so i don't know also, I have my hair slicked back today. I'm gonna wash it later, so I just used oil. I have clothes hanging to dry, cause that's what I use this bathroom for. Um, I guess a quick outfit of the day. I still need to get a floor length mirror so I can do these, but I just, I can't find one I like and I'm extremely picky. Um, anyway, my crew neck is from American Threads. It's the Sunday skin line and it's so comfy. And then I also have on these sweatpants that I got from, they're the We Wore What brand. I got them from a local like consignment shop, but they're really cute. High waisted, all the things. I love them. Really comfy for like work from home vibes. And yeah, I'm wearing my cat socks because they're comfy. I'm currently drinking this juice that I made last night. It has carrots, orange, and ginger, and it's literally so good. Like, I feel like children would drink this. It tastes so good. And I made a jug of it. We've been drinking juice like crazy. I have it in here, but I got these jars from Michael's. This one has a lid, but it was in the wash, so I just put some cling wrap on it, but 
we've literally been drinking like a jug of juice like this every two days so i'm definitely gonna have to make more tonight but i got a different juicer that's way quicker it takes me like a fourth of the time not being able to see what i'm filming is absolutely tragic like i just miss the flip camera to like check the lighting and all of those things but it is what it is but I was gonna say, we got a new juicer. It was on sale for, I think it was like part of the Black Friday sale through Kohl's of all places. But we used to have this juicer and I was like juicing or something and one of the pieces like broke off and shattered. And then Jeff found the piece that broke and ordered it on eBay. We got it in, added it to the machine and it was a different size. Cause I guess it was from like a different it wasn't made at the same time so they like had adjusted the sizing anyway so then we got this other kind of juicer which is the ninja juicer it looks like this well i'm not gonna get it out but it comes in a million pieces and you have to like put it together and there's so many parts to clean and there's not like actual blades to juice so it's more so like for a kind of person that's just like juicing a glass for themselves like that morning it's not like a batch type juicer where you like batch a bunch, which we like to do so that we have it for the week. So maybe if I live by myself, I would keep it. But anyway, they had the juicer that we had before that I absolutely loved on sale. So I got it again. And it's just, I don't know where I was going with that, but it's the... It looks kind of like this and then the juicer part sits on the top but it's in the wash right now it's by Nutribullet this is literally my favorite juicer in the whole world it takes me I made that juice last night in 10 minutes and a majority of the time I was peeling the oranges not even actually juicing so obsessed with this juicer I highly recommend it if you're on the market for one I'll link it down below if it's still on sale but we got it for $60 and the first time we bought it, it was like a hundred something. So absolutely crazy. Horrible about ending my vlogs. So I wanted to go ahead and end it. I just finished doing the editing for the vlog you're watching right now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. I have a ton of content coming. I'm super excited for the new year and it's just the holiday season. So subscribe, stick around, join our little place here on the internet and I will see you guys in our next vlog. Bye.